Right. Uh, I'm Albert Wood with Magnolia Fly Fishers. We are tying the crease fly tonight. Uh, this is a uh, stainless steel hook. I'm going to use this hook, this uh, crease fly for fishing saltwater and freshwater, probably stripers. It works also good for bass. Uh, this is a Gamagatsu uh, SS15 in a one aught. Uh, you can use any hook, kind of hook you like. Uh, kind of rule of thumb on tying the crease fly. Uh, to use the distance on the shank of the hook uh, to get your measurements. You come in here and go this distance here off the hook, like so. And you fold the foam in half, uh, kind of like so. And then you take your scissors and simply cut that measurement out. Like so. And you begin by trimming some off the back. Uh, your tail section will come through here. And you trim a 45 section kind of off like that. And then you come in and trim across like so. And that'll basically give you your uh, body of your fly. Like that. And that's pretty much, you use that same pattern and same measuring off your hook uh, for all your crease flies. And if you wanted to, you could take and after you've, you, if you're using the same size hook, you can cut, cut out many of these. Uh, I'm using, this is closed cell foam and it already has a glitter on it. Uh, the tying part of it, uh, comes next and you want to uh, go ahead and put it to a good thread base on your hook front to back and you can go ahead and mix up five minute epoxy a drop of each of all that's really required. Mix that up real good and put your liberal coat right on top, like so. Uh, this is a white fish emulator and on this particular size hook it's exactly the correct length I want. Uh, I'll take about, pinch about half of that off, like so. Lay right on top, and catch it with your thread. Loose wraps. As you see, the uh, epoxy is kind of trying to drip on you, but you can go through it with your thread, back and forth like so, and there it is. I'm going to hook good, and I'm going to do, I want this uh, crease fly to be blue and white, and I have some Erikio Puglisi fibers here in blue. And I'll just throw a little pinch of those right on top just to give it a little more color. Like so. And if this just ends up being just a little longer than I like, I can always come back at the end and trim it. You can have it longer, but you can't go the other way. Uh, this is blue crystal flash. We'll take a good piece of it. Go around your thread like so. Lay it in here on the side. I'll take the other half, lay it over, so it falls down on the side. That way, in the water the fish can see it rather than if it's on top. And this five minute epoxy by now is starting to uh, tack up. You get kind of sticky like syrup. I'm gonna go ahead and lay some right here on the side. Like 
like so. And as you see, you got loose threads, fibers hanging. Go ahead and capture all of those with your thread, like so. And then basically that part is done. That is your tying part of the fly. Then we will take your foam body. And if you have a little bit extra of your five minute epoxy dripping off, that's okay. Do it like so. And you will come in here and lay your body and adjust it like so. Now again, this is five minute epoxy, so it is getting stickier and harder as we go. And it'll actually hold it, but then it'll come loose. The way to solve that problem is with a giant paper clip. You can come in from the bottom if you like. Just don't get it in your epoxy. Clip it on like so. In just a few minutes that will set, set up. And the rest of the fly will be just arts and crafts of drawing and making the designs on it. 